This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid 1300 watt power supply. 1300 watt power supply is a nice big power supply uh, in today's market with uh, overclocking becoming the norm and multiple GPUs becoming the norm. Power supplies are getting bigger and bigger and bigger even though equipment is getting more efficient. If you're going to be running three, four GPUs, you're going to need something like a 1300 watt power supply to run it. Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid is 1300 watts. More importantly, it's got a 105 amp 12 volt rail. It is a single 12 volt rail, not multiple 12 volt rails, so you've got one big 105 amp pool to draw from for your CPU and GPUs. Taking a look at the packaging, standard Cooler Master packaging with white with a uh, purple accent. Got a nice Big picture of the Silent Hope Pro Hybrid on the front. It is stunted by the look of it breaking through the box. More importantly, you get a look at the fan controller that's included. Kind of an odd thing to see uh, in a power supply is an included fan controller. But the Silent Pro Hybrid actually has what's uh, a unique, what's called a 200 watt fanless mode. What that does, uh, it shuts down the fan whenever the power supply is generating less than 200 watts or it's below 25 degrees centigrade. So it's completely silent when you're idling your computer provided you're drawing less than 200 watts. It will of course escalate up from there as uh, the demand is required. The packaging, like I say, pretty simple, but everything you really need to know is right on the front of the packaging, all the important points. You've got a picture of the fan controller which also will control case fans. Picture of the unit itself. 200 watt fanless mode, 105 amps on a uh, single 12 volt rail, and integrated 7 volt fan ports right on the power supply. 80 plus gold certification, so it's very, very efficient, and 5 year warranty. Around the back of the box we get a little more detail. First off, we've got a chart showing the fan curve of the uh, Silent Pro 1300. As you can see, it's absolutely dead, fanless, 200 watts, fan comes up, and RPM will escalate as loading requires. Also, we've got the efficiency curve, 230 volt and for 115 volt. It is 80 plus gold, so efficiency on 115 never drops below 87%. Features are listed in several different languages, fully modular cables, First PSU with an integrated 7 volt fan port, 5 and a quarter inch fan controller for both the PSU and system fans. The fan controller actually goes right into a 5 and a quarter inch optical bay in the front of your case. Adjustable 135 millimeter super silent hydraulic bearing fan and 90% efficiency with 80 plus gold certification. On the side of the box we find the specifications. Uh, all your typical dimensions, weight, etc. Connectors. 24 pin motherboard connector, two 4 plus 4 pin motherboard connectors, eight PCI Express 6 plus 2 connectors, 12 SATA connectors, five peripheral 4 pins, one floppy, and three fan cable, three pin, uh, three pin fan cables. Down here we have the ever important power distribution chart. Uh, the big numbers we want to look at here, the 3.3 volt is capable of 22 amps, 5 volt, capable of 25 amps, combined power of 150 watts. The real big one, positive 12 volt, 105 amps on a single rail, to, uh, capable of a total of 1260 watts. Total power of the unit, 1300 watts. Looking at the body of the Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid 1300, as you can see, is a black metal flaked body. Very nice, uh, it's actually like a matte finish with metal flake in the paint. Silver accents, nice big 135 millimeter fan with the Cooler Master logo right on top. Moving around, AC input, power on off switch, and we've got a nice big cutout in the back. You're going to get very good ventilation through the unit. That's going to help uh, quite a bit in cooling the unit. Around the side, first side, Got the SPH 1300W logo on the side. Again, all black metal flake finish. Again, logo appears on the other side. So whichever way you're mounting it, you're going to have the logo facing the side. Up top, 
Once again, power distribution chart and 80 plus gold certification along with model number and serial number. And taking a look at the connectors, got two 8-pin CPU connectors, two fan headers. Traditionally, we don't see them on a PSU. Uh, this is the first time we've come across them. This is for the fan controller. Output to the fan controller. Again, uh, the fan controller also controls the fan within the power supply. Peripheral connectors, PCI Express connectors, and 24, 20 plus 4 pin motherboard connector. And accessories are where things start getting a little more interesting with the 1300. Um, first, we've got the 5 and a quarter inch fan controller. As you can see, all set to go up into an open 5 and a quarter inch bay with fan control in the rear, three connectors for fans, as well as the fan controller cable to the PSU. The face is actually a very simple design. Switch in the middle, auto or manual fan control for the power supply fan. You then have rotating dials on both sides, left side for the PSU fan, right side for case fans. Included with this cable connector for the fan controller, as well as three extension cables for case fans. Moving further into the accessories, got a warranty card, user's manual, very simply laid out. Shows it being installed into a half case. That would be half HAF, not half. And fan controller installation manual. Cables come in a nice carrying case, Velcro shut. Nice heavy duty power cable. Motherboard cable, 20 plus 4 pin is braided. The rest of your cables are flat cables, which are not braided. They're actually plastic coated, but they are flat ribbon cables, so they're going to be a little bit easier to route in many cases. Cooler Master Silent Pro Hybrid 1300 watt power supply. Uh, as you can see, very interesting package, very unique with the fan controller as well as the fanless control uh, within the unit itself, allowing you to actually have an absolutely silent PSU when the, your uh, system is idling under 200 watts. When temps do get above 25 degrees or above 200 watts, fan will ramp up accordingly, but will stay quiet. Nice selection of cables, all flat except for the 24 or 20 plus 4 pin motherboard cable which is a braided cable. Again the fan controller goes into a five and a quarter inch spot with fan control for up to three chassis fans as well as the power supply fan itself. Uh, 1300 watt power supply with just a gigantic 105 amp single 12 volt rail, six way uh, power protection and just an all around complete power supply from Cooler Master.